had it on mute. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Uh, I know it's been a while. I mean, if you guys paid attention to not the last video, but the video, like three videos back, the, the video in like the beginning of April, uh, I let you guys know that I was going to be on vacation, blah, 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 and all that stuff. So I left for vacation on what, April 2nd, April 3rd? And Outriders came out on April 1st. So I was able to get... I'm not going to lie. Let's be honest. I only played an hour on the first day. Because two things. Number one, it wasn't even released on Game Pass. Because I told you I was going to play it on Game Pass. I wasn't going to spend the 60 bucks until I know what I'm getting into in the full game. But... Game Pass promised day one, and I stayed up all night past midnight. Did not. Sorry. You couldn't watch. I'm trying to trying to make this video really quick. So I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I need to catch up on a lot of things, but wasn't able to download it until like later on in the afternoon or later on that day and all that stuff. And even my brother-in-law told me he's like, "Yeah, that thing didn't release on Game Pass till like a couple hours ago." And I was like, "Dude, what the heck? I wouldn't have stayed up if that was the case." I only played an hour of it. I only played an hour of it because that's how long it took for then the servers to freaking crap out on us. <laughs> Okay, and I was like, okay, whatever. This is just day one bugs, right? It's going to be patched tomorrow, the next day, da 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 da, and all that stuff. So I went on vacation, I had a good vacation with my family and all that stuff. And I didn't have, only thing I had was my, my phone and my iPad. And I have no Windows devices at all. So there's no X Cloud for me. But. I just stayed up to date and watched other YouTubers and other streamers show how the game is. And I just, every day, every day, it was a new video about Outriders still not fixed. Outriders crapping out the servers, blah, 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 unplayable, all that stuff. So I'm like, the, the, <laughs> the closer I get to the end of my vacation, I'm like, they still didn't fix this. Like I'm sitting here thinking I'm coming back and there's going to be updates that I'm going to have to download and then the game's going to be ready to go. I kid you not. Came back, updated the thing, logged in. First off, it took like 20 minutes to log in. So logged in 20 minutes because it kept giving me error, error, error. And I'm like, dude. Everything's connected. I'm not running on Wi-Fi. I don't stream on Wi-Fi. I don't play games online on Wi-Fi. I'm hardwired. <laughs> and finally, boom, it kicked in. But then my brother-in-laws and all my friends were having the same issue. They were like, I was telling them, I was like, dude, I was like, you getting on uh, Outriders? He was like, I'm trying. <laughs> like, dude, I'm getting no luck. I was like, I'm in. So finally get in, finally play. And then the same thing happens. I get about a good 30 to 40 minutes in there and then boom, internet error or whatever error comes up, the server error and all this stuff kicks me out. It just completely kicks me out of the game. I go right back to the Xbox home screen. Um, so I've been slowly, slowly, like I haven't really gotten, well in the beginning I wasn't able to dive into the game because there was no freaking way it was just unplayable all right but then I released the video well I streamed on Twitch showing you guys me getting into the game and me getting my first legendary from that big boss um and then I shared two videos those videos were what you call those videos the last two videos on Outriders those videos were from the demo for people that have a brain those are from the demo I was just showing what you call it I was I was just playing around making what you call it and just getting all the people that uh, the thumbs down people getting them tight and all that stuff you know the people like, oh, you're a cheater and I was just like relax it's, it's still the demo I'm just I'm just <laughs> pissing you guys off I'm just pulling your leg bro it's, it's just the demo still but, you know, if you guys really want uh, a proof, 
then here it is. I got the camera set up on this stuff because uh, apparently the Series X doesn't stream on the Xbox Companion just yet. Don't know why it's taking so long. But as you can see, I'm on the Xbox. And Bob Boss says Bob Boss suspended because I have been on it. And pretty much, I'm not going to record this whole thing. I'm going to wait till we, because <laughs> you guys know how long it takes to end this thing. So I'm just going to pause the recording and I'm going to guys resume when I'm in the game. All right, so this is it. And just to prove, I'm on Xbox. <laughs> yes, I'm still on Xbox. I'm not trying to fool with you guys, nothing like that. So for those who, oh, oh you're a cheater. Oh, get ready for, uh, what you call it? Get ready for your perma band and blah, 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 and all that stuff. I already told you guys I was playing on Xbox since they announced that it was going to be on Game Pass. So for all the people that, whatever, this is my character right here. This is a devastator. Um, where's my max tour? Okay, I still, I still have ways to go when it comes to the world tiers. But my character is 30, level 30. This is end game. This is when you get the pods from the resources and stuff. This is my inventory. <laughs> this is all my loot. Oh, I gotta get rid of the blues. This is my loot. This is all grinded on the xbox when the servers finally stopped crapping out and i actually got to dive hours into the game with both my brother-in-laws this is my inventory on xbox look prove again i'm on xbox not on pc no cheats no mod menus no trainers this is it this is what i got hmm. Like the highest thing is like level 40. This is all my armor pieces. All right, those are my resources. That's my titanium, all that stuff. I haven't done, um, yeah, I haven't finished Endgame on the Xbox. See, I haven't done the boss yet. I'm still at, what, tier 7? So that's it. <laughs> that's my character. That's my Xbox. That's my account. Okay? For the people that thought, Oh, what's it going to You're going to be cheated. You're going to be perma, perma banned and blah, blah, blah. And all that stuff, dude. Just eat me. Okay? <laughs> Just sit on it. All right? But, where am I at? Eight minutes now? Alright. So, this whole week, I've been playing the game non-stop, obviously. I've been playing with my brother-in-law. I feel like my brother-in-law kind of slowed me down just a little bit. But, you know, I did it for his stream. So, I slowly went through the story with him and got him to endgame. Now I'm at endgame. And... My personal review on the game without mentioning the servers and the crap where it freaking just completely logs you out and just quits on you and all that stuff. All the errors. This game as a looter shooter, I'll give it a 7. I'll give it a 7 or a high 7, low 8. Um, here's why. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't scream next gen to me. The looks, the feel, the loading time. It does not feel next gen at all. That's number one. Number two. Uh, it is 
fun. It is fun. Um, it does even even the parts that are hard and the missions that are hard and the side quests that are hard, the hunts, the bounties, and all that stuff. Even though it's hard, it's it's like it's like healthy competition. It's it's a it's a good challenge. Um, but it's not fun by yourself. Um, they really, and this is a cross, this is a cross platform game. Okay. This is cross play is enabled, but, and there's, and, and with that, there is no excuse why it should take 20, 30 minutes for the damn thing to find a random team. No excuse at all. With Marvel's Avengers, there's an excuse because that game is not crossplay. And at this point, it should be crossplay. Because let's be honest, you're the, 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 there's only about 3,000 or 2,000 people that are still playing that game faithfully. Um, I try to get back into it, but it's just it's not for me. Especially when you guys got two archers on there that do the same crap. But overall, in the end game, the end game is actually pretty good and fun for me. This is this end game is better than any loot assure that I know of. It's, it's better than the division end game, it's better than, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash for this destiny end game. Because this game right here, the content and the DLC they said is going to be free. Okay, and when you spend $60 on a game or $70 on a next gen game, then yeah, I expect updates and DLC to be free. Okay, when you have a platform like Division and Destiny. That literally charge thirty and forty dollars. Pretty much, you're paying for the game three to four times over, just for DLC that's like 30, 20 minutes long, um, just to get loot that has a different cosmetic and all that crap. Like it's really, it, you're you're really not paying for gameplay. Okay, you're just you're playing the same crap with a different paint job on it. So. The end game in this is pretty good and pretty decent and pretty rewarding as well because it gives you, it opens up a different resource because you're you're collecting from the pod resources. And if you didn't finish the game, then I don't. Know, spoiler alert! <laughs> but if you finish the game and you're you end end game, you know what I'm talking about: the resources and the gear and all that stuff. First off. Uh, this end game, uh, the end games period, when you're doing the collecting the drop pods and all that stuff, and you kill everyone and you open up the pod, this is the most rewarding end game I've ever played in a looter shooter. The most rewarding. I literally, the, first off, the loot is like 30 or 40 pieces of gear and guns, and then. I literally streamed with my brother-in-law and we got at least, at least 12 legendaries or gold uh, guns and armor and stuff from a drop. From a drop, just one drop. Okay, that is the most rewarding, that's more rewarding than any of the stupid um, end game quests or bounty missions and all that crap from all the other looter shooters. Especially Destiny's um, raids, like just, just squash that crap. Because I've never spent three to four hours on one freaking raid, and literally was disgusted with the loot that you get at the end—a total freaking waste of time. This, before you even get to the ultimate boss fight, the Eye of the Storm, each expedition that you're doing when you get to the end and you finish it and you open up the pod i've never seen so much loot so much rewards it's like freaking playing borderlands
Okay? So, but on top of everything else, that's like the only positive in this game. And that's why I give it a strong 7 or a low 8. And that's without including the bugs and error. First off, I didn't get any inventory wipe. Okay, I'm, I don't know who experienced it. And I feel sorry for you guys. But I personally did not experience the inventory wipe. At all. But what you call it. Now, if I was to include in my review, include all the bugs and all the crap and the getting kicked off the game and the server issues, this game would be a four. <laughs> this game is literally unplayable. All the people that said Cyberpunk was unplayable, I had no issues with Cyberpunk. I played Cyberpunk on the Series X. I had no issues. Maybe one little bug. But after that, no freaking issues at all. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm sorry for the, those people that literally just turned the damn game back in. Where am I at? 16 minutes? Alright, let me get through this fast. I already gave you my review. I already showed you my character on my Xbox. My Xbox account. My Devastator. My build. Okay, and... The mods and all that stuff. You already know I got a whole bunch of mods. You see how much legendaries I have and I worked during grinded for. All that stuff. Now for the Q&A. Now a lot of people. Had questions and all that stuff. Blah, blah blah when I was showing off the demo. And showing off the mods and trainers and all that stuff. So I'm going to be uh, answering as many questions as I can. Um. And try not to make this video too long, but and without giving certain things away, and I'm, I'm not going to be showing anything either because uh, a lot of y'all are snitches, and you'll just post this or report this, put it on Red, uh, Reddit or whatever crap and all that stuff, and then later on it'll just get patched. Um, but I managed to get a free copy. Someone gave me a free copy of Outriders on PC for me to test it out for me to test it out to see if uh um see if any trainers any uh mod menus work any cheats and all that stuff blah 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 so i managed to do that and i'll show it off in a later video later on but right now i'm just answering questions about uh, the pc version about the mod menus about the trainers and all that stuff blah 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 so uh, someone uh, gave me a free copy I got a free copy of Outriders on PC when I got back home and I was able to find two working mod menus I'm not gonna name any names if you guys want the details and you guys want the source hit me up in the comments and uh, what you call it go first off go to my page follow me on Instagram and Twitter but if you want any information uh, on the sources of anything that I say in this video, hit me up in the comments and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will DM you the information. I'm not gonna put the information on YouTube because like I said, uh, a lot of y'all, not my subscribers, but a lot of y'all haters or snitches and you'll just throw it on Reddit, uh, Reddit or whatever and freaking, you know, get the thing patched and get what you call it. But whatever, I used a dummy account obviously to test out to make sure that you know it doesn't get banned or nothing like that or I'll get kicked out but number one I use the dummy account on Steam use the dummy account uh, have out free uh, a free copy of Outriders on the PC that was given to me it was a gift and then I managed to use well I actually used two mod menus trainers simultaneously I didn't even know you could do it at the same time but I did them at the same time and here is the results. Number one, didn't get banned. Um, in case you know you guys are your haters are wondering, my account didn't get banned. Um, not only that, when they said that they weren't going to be banning cheaters, but they were going to put like a watermark on their thing. Yeah, that's BS. No watermark on your thing. 
uh, when they said restricting, they're going to be restricting your account to, you know, only single player and all that stuff. Nope. I was able to play with random people and my friends on different consoles and stuff. So, yep, that was a big lie. Um, so, no permaban, no no restrictions, and no watermark on your, your freaking name or your, your character and stuff. So, all that is BS. Uh, you are using both menus. I was able to do super crazy 1 million damage, um, uh, ultimate shield, ultimate health. Uh, uh, you are able to give yourself a whole bunch of skill points so that you can completely fill the skill tree. So you're not just limited to that one skill tree. You're able to fill up the whole skill tree and all that stuff. Uh, unlimited resources, especially the resources for endgame. So definitely gives you unlimited resources on that. Um, you can boost up your tier all the way up to tier 15. Like I said, you put God mode on, you can get the one hit damage so you can completely go through the story and completely go through the expeditions and all that stuff. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um... Oh, you were able to, uh, as long as you're the host and it's your lobby, your server, and people join you, uh, not only will the mods still work, but the mods will actually work for the other people. So that's crazy. I had my friends with join and stuff and they're like, yo, my damage is at one mil, bro. Or yo, I'm not dying, bro. Or, or yo, what you call it? I'm getting, uh, and that brings me to the, uh, the last, uh, thing on on, uh, on the list is uh, there's well both mod menus that I've used simultaneously was able to enable maximum legendary drop and maximum epic the purple drop um, and I just did both uh, the purple and the legendary because you know uh, to to get all the mods you know so to dismantle all the crap and get the mods and all that stuff and then make your own build blah 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 um but that worked it literally almost every drop was legendary almost every drop was uh, epic and all that stuff blah, blah blah and it even worked for people that joined my game when people joined my game they're like yo i never seen so much legendaries and so much loot and all that stuff and i was like yeah blah, blah blah this thing works but you have to be part you have to be the host you have to this has to be your lobby your server if you join someone else's thing it's not gonna work you're just gonna get a whole bunch of just a buggy glitchy game but as long as they're joining you your stuff will work um and that's uh, i think that's pretty much it <laughs> um you guys have any more questions uh just hit me up in the comments and like i said um any questions about what the sources are and where to get them at I will DM you on Instagram and Twitter. I will not share the information on YouTube because a whole bunch of haters on YouTube are just going to, you know, report me. It's going to get patched, blah, 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 and all that stuff. And then we're back at square one. But, you know, just hit me up. And like I said, you go to my page and you literally just go to my page and you see the icons. You'll see the Twitter icon. You'll see the Instagram icon. And just, just follow me, bro. Uh, follow me, hit me up, and uh, DM me, and I will give you the sources to those things. And um, yeah, it's it's what you call it. it. It's definitely legit. I wouldn't I wouldn't give you guys something that's gonna freaking uh, give you a virus or give you uh, just crash your PC and all that stuff. And you know, if you, for for my PC players out there, um, if you guys want any um, sources or any giveaways for a free copy of Outriders for PC only, not console, PC only, hit me up and I'll DM you some sources as well um, that that I've used that I trust and stuff. So PC players that you know that want a, a free giveaway copy of um, Outriders, uh, just hit me up in the comments. You know the first five people to put a put a thumbs up and a positive comment i will hook you up with free pc copies of outriders All right first five people remember thumbs up uh follow and um and a comment positive comment don't be a dickhead all right all right so thank you guys for watching um i'll see you in the next one take care be safe and stay gaming peace